Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to show you something I did with the Motu Ultralight Mark V. Uh, I was lucky enough to get one of these last year and what I did with it, I took a lot of the outputs and I used them to be able to digitally route audio to different devices. So I'm just gonna show you how this works and then maybe talk a little bit about uh, how I set it up and if anybody's interested, uh, let me know. So here we go. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna take the output from the Pro 3. So let me go to that. There we go. Let me just have it hold a note. So we've got audio coming from the Pro 3 and I'm gonna send it to the Syntact. So if you see on the back here, I've got some cables. Those are going over to the Mo2. And then what I did in Bitwig is I said, okay, so let me take the Pro 3, and if you can see here, and I know it's small, but I have set these up as send effects, meaning that I can just turn a dial to say, I wanna send some of this signal to the Syntact. And I'm gonna send a lot of signal to the Syntact, okay? And now what I can do is I can go to the Syntact and I can maybe turn on a filter. So let me use the bandpass filter, I'll crank up the resonance, and let's go ahead and put an LFO on it so we can move it around so you can hear it. Okay. And let's add a little grit since this is the syntax has that in there. All right. Let's slow the... There we go. Something like that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the audio from the Syntact and I'm gonna route it over to the Digitone. So now I can come up here and just do this and say, okay, here's the Syntact. Take the main and I will send it over to the Digitone. And that's this guy. So let's, uh, let's use the chorus since this has a, a cool chorus on it. So let's go ahead and turn that on. You can hear that. And let's tweak the delay a bit. Let's do a dotted quarter, and I'm gonna have it swing from left to right. And let's go ahead and turn that on. There we go. It's got some maybe if I, let me speed up the LFO for a second. You can really hear it bouncing around. Okay, so then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the output of that <laughs> and I'm gonna send it back over to the Iridium. So let me do that. So we have the Digitone now. I'm gonna take its audio and just kind of chain it over to the Iridium. And on the Iridium, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the audio layer here, it's got input. I'm going to send it to the effects. And for the effects, um, let's see, what do I want to do on the Iridium? Maybe uh, I'll put a compressor on there and then a flanger. Okay. Okay. It's getting a little loud in here, but... All right, now we put the flanger on this. Turn up the speed a little bit. There we go. And let's, uh, just for fun, let's send some of the Iridium signal back to the uh, Digitone. This might blow up, but this is what makes it so fun. <laughs> so uh, let's see. So I want to take the uh, Iridium output and we're going to send some of it back into the Digitone. hasn't blown up yet so there we go now I can hear the uh, it's hard to hear I mean when you get this many layers so I'll just I'll, I'll calm down a little bit and not do that because I don't want it to blow up but let me uh, stop this note or actually before I stop this note let me uh, let's mess with it a little bit let's make it noise
there's just noise. But you get the idea, you can put any note through here. So let me change the, uh, I'll have it not send a, uh, a hold note. Let me just hit a note here so you hear the idea. Now the volume levels are getting high. You can go back and I've got gain staging all set up so you can like trim all this stuff. But that's what I wanted to share for this video. I hope you think that's cool and interesting. Um, if not, that's cool too. So anyway, take it easy. Thank you. Bye.